Hi there. Welcome. Come on in. Take a seat and get yourself nice and comfortable. And how are you today? Okay. Are you ready for the impossible test? Hmm. Well, I know firsthand just how good you are at passing all these various tests, medical and non-medical. So I thought this evening I'd be a little less nice and we'd try an impossible test. The best way to look at this is that if nothing else, it will be very good for clearing the mind. What do you say? Would you like to try and beat me on this impossible test? Fantastic. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. The first thing we'll do is put a pair of headphones on you. I've got some sounds that I would like you to listen to and answer some questions on for me. Then there's lots of pictures that I'm going to be showing you various sequences. I'll be asking you to walk me through a little estimation, a couple of riddles and finally some maths questions for you. How does that sound? Hmm. There is one stipulation for the impossible test and that is to pass it you must get every single question correct. And if you do that, well then you've beaten me in this test. I look forward to hearing how you get on. But you can't tell me how you've done until we get started. So, are you ready? Fantastic. So as I said, we'll start by putting some headphones on you. You've had these headphones on before, don't worry. And using the computer here, I will be playing various sounds into your ears, but I'll talk you through it and you can answer the questions as we go. Is that okay? Great. So, put these on first. Ready? Great, here we go. First 
This morning, next week, we finished Saturday, we are fully. I'll play that one again for you so you can get used to hearing it. This morning, next week, we finished Saturday, we are fully. Sovereign, it's a little very fit. Sad, but we're fully. Sovereign, it's a little very fit. Sad, but we're fully. You're avoiding it for the art of more the sort of message that's it. You're avoiding it for
How was that? Lots of fun sounds to listen to. Hmm. Sorry if it's a little bit warm. It is boiling outside. Try and keep it nice and cool in here. However, it's a losing battle. However, on to using your eyes for a little while. Is that okay? Yep. We're going to start by looking at some binary numbers and then some sequences, which I know you're very good at. So, let's begin. Let's pop this on the, key, on the clipboard. It's a keyboard then. So, just take a look for me. Where are you? <laughs> it's going to be the easiest. I'd like you to have a good look at this for me. Or my peep out from behind. <laughs> Let me fill the screen for you. If you'd have a very good look at that. Had a good look. How's your binary? Mm -hmm. Just one question for you with that one. I'm not going to ask you to tell me what it says. Nice easy one for you. Um, is the hexadecimal number 20 in there? Okay. No problem. Next, we're going to look at which is next in the sequence. And again, I'll show you in the clipboard. I'll fill the screen for you so you can have a very good look. So this first one, take a look. So along the top is your sequence. And along the bottom are your choices of which shape will come next. Have a little look for me and tell me which shape will come next. Fantastic. Just make a note of that one. Ready for the next? They're all very similar. So, same thing again. Take a good look for me. The shapes across the top, of which there are five, are your sequence. And underneath at the bottom, labelled A to E, are your potential answers for next in the sequence. All I need to know is which is next. Thank you. Make a note again. Keep that one handy. Ready for the third. Same thing again for me. So across the top is your sequence. And along the bottom there are five squares labelled A to E. And they are your options for the next in the sequence. So once you've worked out the sequence at the top, you can tell me which of those comes next. Fantastic. A couple more of these. I think there are six in total. Dots this time. And here, oh, here. This is the one that we're looking for. So 
this picture has left you a nice gap. So take a look at those top four boxes and that should show you or guide you in the right direction of which of the boxes along the bottom is the correct answer. Fantastic. Take a look. Yes, there are two more. Here's your next. Again, we've left a gap after the first four boxes. And all you need to do is tell me whether the answer is A, B, C, D, or E. Great. Last one. Little colour on this one. But exactly the same as before. Tell me. A, B, C, D, or E. Good. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like you to take a look at this picture for me. Which you'll see there is lavender. And I would like you to tell me, please, how many strands of lavender in this picture? How many? Take a look at this one for me. Actually, let me hold it here like so. How many petals in the picture? How many? Fantastic. Next. Take a look at this picture for me. And tell me, what has been planted in this field? has been planted in this field. Fantastic. That's great. Thank you. Next, take a look at this for me. It's a little vial of salt. I'd like you to tell me how many grains of salt in here, please. I have a ruler here just to help you with your estimation. So the jar is approximately six centimeters deep and around three centimeters wide. Showing the bottom all around. I can remove the cork, show you the cork. Yes, I can. That's it without the cork. How many grains in there? Fantastic. 
Okay. Next, I have two riddles for you. So, are you ready for the first? What can be seen in the middle of the sky, touched at the bottom of the ocean, and heard in the deepest silence? What can be seen in the middle of the sky, touched at the bottom of the ocean, and heard in the deepest silence? Okay. Next. What is light as a feather, yet no one can hold it for long, and disappears the moment you think you have it? What is light as a feather, yet no one can hold it for long, and disappears the moment you think you have it? Okay. A few maths questions, just one or two. And again, I need the full answer, please. So, could you please tell me the value of 10 to the power of 100 divided by 3? All digits, please. And the same with the factorial of 1,000, please. Mm -hmm. And finally, for the maths question. You've seen before I hold up various fingers in videos. You have to tell me how many fingers. So from all of those videos, add up how many fingers I've shown. Okay. Fantastic. One more thing, and then I shall go away and tot up your answers. Take a look at this for me. Xbox controller. How many moves to beat the final boss, please? You know which final boss. Okay. Well, you may be very pleased indeed to hear that that is all of my questions for today. How do you think you did? Mm -hmm. Well, as I say, they need to all be 100% correct. So I will go away and top those up for you. And I will let you know if you have beaten my impossible test. But in the meantime, thank you for taking part. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care.